Introducing the Trident X2 with 1.2 inch display. This is the biggest 1 8 in display in the market today. You may know about Precision Digital's very popular Trident series. Now we've supersized its display. The supersized Trident X2 has all the features of our most popular meter, but it has a display that is twice as high. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Peters, and I'd like to show you the new supersized Trident X2 digital panel meter. Trident X2 is an exciting new version of our most popular digital panel meter that raises display size for 8th DIN panel meters to record heights, literally. It has the biggest display of any 8th DIN digital panel meter on the market. The Trident X2 features a display height of 1.2 inches versus the Trident's industry norm display height of 0.56 inches. Now you can view Trident meters from up to 35 feet away. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is the standard Trident digital panel meter with a 0.56 inch high display. It features UL listing and CE marking, NEMA 4X front, and field selectable processor temperature inputs. A great meter that satisfies a wide variety of process applications. And this is the new supersized Trident X2 meter. It has all the same features as the regular Trident, but check out this huge display. One of the tools we provided our distributors with to help them show you the new supersized Trident X2 is the Trident X2 demo that I have here. If you would like to see a Trident X2 in person, just give your local Precision Digital Distributor a call. The Trident X2 demo has a built-in slide wire to simulate a voltage input and a potentiometer to simulate an RTD input, or you could even connect a transmitter to these terminals here. You'll notice that the Trident's two relays are connected to these lights, and the demo also contains a convenient header for connecting the serial adapter so you can connect the Trident to a PC. I'd like to show you how the Trident demo can be used to simulate a level application. Let me show you how easy it is to program the Trident for a typical level application. We will scale the meter for a 0 to 7,000 gallon tank and set the main pump to turn on at 6,000 gallons and shut off at 1,000 gallons and we'll have a backup pump to turn on at 6,500 gallons and shut off at 1,000 gallons and we'll make those two relays alternate. Now I'll quickly show you how to program the Trident demo for our application we just discussed. Starting off with the menu button, we go into setup, input, we have 0 to 10 volts, RTD, thermocouple, or 4 to 20, we'll go with 0 to 10 volts. Decimal point, we don't want any kind of decimal point, so we'll scroll over for that. Relay, relay one. Relay one action is going to be set up for alternation, for our pump alternation. The set point for relay number one is going to be uh, 6,000 gallons. And the reset point is going to be 1,000 gallons. And then for relay number two, the set point is going to be 6,500 gallons. And the reset point is going to be 1,000 gallons, same as it was before. 1,000 gallons. And we won't have any kind of fail safe or any kind of delay, so we will just scroll right through those and until we get to the program menu and this is where we're going to scale the meter so we're going to program we'll scale it input one is already set for zero volts we'll skip right over that display one happens to be set at zero so we're good for that input two is set up for 10 volts and display two we will change to 7,000 for our 7,000 gallon tank so that's all there is to programming the trident meter now what I'll do is demonstrate how this works. So remember we have a 7,000 gallon tank with two relays that come on at 6,500 and 6,000 gallons and they shut off at 1,000 gallons and they alternate. So we'll start down here. 
at roughly 1,000 gallons. And as the level fills up, the first pump kicks on at 6,000 gallons. In this case, it was really number two. Now it empties out. And now because we have the alternation uh, feature activated, the next time up, relay one is going to come on. Okay, that's pump alternation. It goes back down again. And now, let's say the level increases and we hit our first pump and it can't keep up and the level keeps rising, then our second relay will eventually turn on and hopefully that will solve our problem. So there we've just used the Trident demo to demonstrate a very typical application, which is a level control of two pumps. And the Trident had the unique feature also of providing the pump alternation, as well as providing the 24 volts to power the transmitter. I just showed you an easy way to program the Trident using the front panel push buttons. Now I'm going to show you an even easier way to program it using free meter view software and an external serial adapter. One of the great features of the serial adapter being external is the customer only needs to buy one adapter and he can use it to program an infinite number of tridents. So I'm going to use meter view software to program the trident just like we did for our level application. Now to demonstrate that, you'll notice that right now the, the uh, trident demo is programmed to accept an RTD input as simulated by this potentiometer here. So that's the way that works. So now, to change that programming for our level application, we go into configuration, and we're going to change the input to 0 to 10 volts, and we'll leave the decimal point where it is with no decimal point. Then we go over to scaling, and we have 0 volts input, and that display of one, display one of zero volts. Input two is 10 volts, and display two is 7,000 for our 7,000 gallons. Now we click over here on the Relays Alarms tab, and we're going to set this for alternation operation. And remember how we wanted our first set point at 6,000 gallons, and we wanted that to reset at 1,000 gallons. And then we had set point number two tripping at 6,500 gallons and resetting at 1,000 gallons. And that's all there is to programming the Trident meter using meter view software. Now I will write to the meter. And now the uh, programming we just programmed is being sent to the Trident via, remember the, uh, the serial adapter here. The serial adapter is about $79, so it's a very economical way to program Trident meters. And of course, the real important feature is that you only need to buy one Trident, uh, excuse me, one Trident serial adapter, and you can program an infinite number of meters using it. Keep in mind that uh, meter view software can also be used for data acquisition. So it's a very versatile uh, piece of software, and it is a free download right from the Precision Digital website. So now we have successfully uh, written our new programming to the uh, Trident. And now let's go see how that works. We'll start off with both relays off. Remember how we had a level application where we were controlling level in a tank? And as the level increases, when we get to 6,000 gallons, the first relay trips on. And now, of course, the level empties back out again, down to 1,000 gallons. And the relay will shut back off again, turning off the pump. The next time up, since we have pump alternation mode activated, the second relay trips on. OK. And then back down again for our pump alternation. So there we just demonstrated how simple it is to program the Trident meter using meter view software. And it doesn't get much simpler than that. Or does it? How about using another feature on the Trident meter called the meter copy feature to clone one Trident's programming to another? 
Another easy way to program the Trident meter is to use the copy feature and all you need to do this is one $7 cable. Say you have several Tridents and they all have to be have the same programming. You could use the copy function to quickly copy the programming of one Trident to all of them. I'll demonstrate that right here. I'm going to copy the programming from this Trident over to this one. To do that, we go into the Advanced Features menu and we scroll up to what's called Copy. We press Enter. We press Enter to send it. Now once it's done, we scroll out of that and you'll notice now that the programming of this Trident was copied over to this Trident and they both have the exact same display on them. You've seen how easy it is to program the Trident meter using the front panel push buttons, meter view software, or the copy feature. Now I'd like to show you an online tool that can be used to demonstrate the various features of the Trident. We call it the Trident Virtual Meter and you can access it right from the home page of our website. So I have it here on the screen and you'll see that there's a slide wire over here and what I've done is I have programmed this virtual meter to act just like the demos that we've been doing before. So we have 0 to 7,000 gallons, uh, a 0 to 7,000 gallon tank, so 0 to 7,000. And we program the pump alternation feature so that when the, uh, the first, when the level reaches 6,000 gallons, the first pump turns on. In this case, it was really a number two. And the tank empties back out again back to a thousand it shuts off and this time up the second the first relay will turn on at six thousand gallons then empties back out again and back down to that to a thousand and then of course if the uh, the first pump can't keep up the second pump will turn on at sixty five hundred gallons so this, this virtual meter operates just like a trident, and so let me just show you quickly what you can do. For instance, if, you're, if you want to show how the front panel's push buttons work, you just hit menu, go over here to input. We had 0 to 10 volts, but we could do RTD, thermocouples, or 4 to 20. 0 to 10 volts, I can move the decimal point around wherever I want to. And I program my relays. Relay 1 I had set up for alternation, remember? And set point 1 was 6,000, reset 1 was 1,000, and this of course can be changed just by pushing the buttons around, whatever you want to do. So we, then we relay 2, and then all, all the rest of our set points. Then when we're all done, we just hit the menu, and then we can use the slide wire to vary this. So this is a very useful tool if you want to just figure out how to program the Trident. No, actually over here are directions. It tells you how to scale the meter without a signal source. You can see all the various things. It, it shows you how to program the Trident. And then over here, uh, if you look, as I scroll over the buttons, it even shows you what the, each button does. So it's a very useful troubleshooting tool when you're trying to learn how the Trident works. And it's available right at uh, our website, uh, predig.com. So we encourage you to take a look at that virtual meter anytime you want to learn more about the Trident meter. We're very excited about the new supersized Trident X2 meter and think you'll find lots of uses for it throughout your facility. You can use the Trident meter to display process signals like 4 to 20 milliamps or 1 to 5 volts, J, K, T, or E thermocouples, or 100 ohm platinum RTDs. It's UL listed and CE marked and features a NEMA 4X front. You can use it for level, flow, pressure, or temperature applications. Heck, you may even want to replace some of your existing Trident so you can read the display from a greater distance. Thanks for watching this video, and if you would like to see a Trident X2 demonstration, please contact your local Precision Digital Distributor. Contact your Precision Digital Distributor for a demonstration today. Call us at 1-800-343-1001 for the name of a distributor near you. There are a variety of NEMA 4 enclosure options for the Trident. The datasheet for the Trident has been upgraded to include the X2 and can be found on our website 
at predate.com. We thank you very much for taking the time to view this video on the new Trident X2.